All right, it's the next day. And we're ready for, we've got some 320 wet and dry sandpaper. Wet and dry means it's waterproof. The water, the water helps the paint build up. Doesn't really happen as much. You can wash it off. So you get, you get a better sand. So it, a lot cooler today. Sun's not really out. We're about 14 and a half degrees on top of the car, so. Yeah, it's not too bad, not too cold, not too hot. I think we can get away with painting. Found some cheap matte black paint. That's what we're gonna use. Not sure, nearly full or full. Looking at the amount of paint we've used in those other ones, that should be plenty. Otherwise we'll have to go get another one. The noise is just the dogs playing. Winston, what are you doing? That's Winston, that's Kaiser. Good boys. Yeah, good boys. Go play down there. They get a bit excited whenever I talk to myself on the camera, I think, and they start being rowdy. But anyway, let's give it a sand. Probably wouldn't mind 400 grit, but 320 is all I've got. Start up here. You can see the paint comes off a lot easier. Want to make sure we don't get through the primer with this sandpaper, so we shouldn't be able to see any metal. Which is tricky here, because you know I'll put the block there to sand left and right, but it also sits on top of that seal, which is quite thin, so it's easily, easily sanded through. We've gone through the metal just there, look. And you can see these other bits, that's where we're going through the spray putty down to the primer. So that's a high spot. You'd usually keep going because you want it to all be the same. But we don't mind so much for the poor old Datmo. Its last paint job was quick grind out of any rusty patches. A light sand, and then I got the primer put on, <laughs> and then top coat. And we didn't we didn't put a lot on because I was never going to keep driving. It was just a temporary. Well, we swapped the motor out into the other one, but that just hasn't happened. So here we are today. It's bloody giving us some rust repair. I think that'll do it. I'm not gonna worry about going down to 800. We're not going for a gloss finish, a metallic finish. It just doesn't need to be perfect. And considering, like I said, how this is painted before and how it come up, we're just gonna paint it once we wash it off and let it dry. We will have some nice matte black paint. This was originally matte black, but it was sprayed on with a paint gun, a low pressure spray gun. So I don't expect them to match. Plus it's really old and I've never ever washed or polished this car. You can see a lot of the paint's actually coming off. <laughs> That's what this gray is. That's the primer underneath the paint.
Just got to dry it out now. If it was a good day like it has been, the last two days, three days, just throw it in the sun for a little while. Doing a poop. This, as I said before, really cheap paint. It's probably not going to last on the car, so it's probably a bad idea to use it. But you know what? It's all I've got at the moment. Don't feel like going to the shop, so we're going to use it. And it actually says also, uh, not recommended for automotive. So it probably doesn't too well. Doesn't do too well under uv light or something but again you know this stuff's like two dollars fifty three dollars a can can't go wrong let's paint light coat first Enough for one more coat. Just wait for that to flash off. Here's the other side I painted while I was waiting for the battery to charge. It's pretty good. I can notice a lot wrong with it. But I have to think that, you know, is it worth the time? Am I going to keep this car? Amazing, the sun's out. Twenty 
85. It's a good temperature for paint. There. That's three coats. It's all shiny, but it should dull out because it's matte, matte black. You shouldn't be able to see a reflection in it like you can now. <laughs> Looks good at the back. You can see that one. That one's had about 15 minutes of dry and it's not very reflective like the other side.